episode 58 of Grow United series. Today we're looking at hearing God's voice clearly. Sometimes we feel like we know the right thing to do, like I always say, it's best to double check with God. So that's when the read, Babylon has come to Judah, to Jerusalem, to all of Israel, to gather people that they have taken into slavery. Bat 1, Bat 2, Bat 3. And then the revenants in Judah became afraid. They're like, where do we run to? If we stay here, they will come for us because they were living in fear. They never knew when the king of Babylon would come to raid again. So they contemplated going to Egypt to save themselves. Let's go to Egypt. It's the nearby country. There's peace there. More like what's happening around the nation of the world, the people moving around, moving from one country to the other in search of stability, security, finance, and everything else that might, they, they might need. And in this case, the remnants in Judah thought it's wise to go to Egypt. But then they had a second thought. We've had it our way for many years and we've done the things that have brought us to this path. It was our decisions, our decisions to help ourselves that brought us to this trouble. Can we, for once, seek God's counsel through the mouth of prophet Jeremiah? And then they go to Jeremiah and Jeremiah says to them, I would inquire of the Lord and whatever he says that you will do. And they agree. So Jeremiah tells them the word of the Lord. God tells them, stay in this land. If you stay here, what you fear will not come to pass. But if you left this place and went to Egypt, I will make sure that what you fear will come upon you. You will die by sword, you will die by famine, you will die by hunger. Everything you fear will come upon you. The grand picture in all of this is the truth that the remnants in Judah may not have known, but they were part of a script. It's already been documented that Israel will be in slavery for 70 years. That's why you have people like Daniel eventually finding the revelation and praying. Remember the 21 days wait where God had to send an angel, Michael, to help the angel that was sent to bring message to, um, to um, what's his name, to Daniel in the 21 days that he prayed. The complimentary place where we get the 21 days or the dino fast. You know that, right? Good. Now we see that these people who were remaining in Judah did not understand they were part of the plan. God does not want to uproot Israel. God wants to deal with them. And so taking out the remnant will be that Israel had been uprooted from their land. They did not understand that their destiny was to preserve the promises of God while, while they're in the land. Their destiny was to preserve Israel's inheritance while they were there. Yes, they did not know this. Think about pretty much you and I. That's what we do in our days of trials. We go through our journey and we come to a place where it is very confusing for us. And we're like, why am I here at this point in time in life? Why am I here at this age? Why am I here in this time when I'm supposed to be there or there or there? We understand from the minute parts that our eyes can see. We do not know the grand picture. You might just be where you are in life because Father has a better plan or just because Father has left you there to be a witness, a witness to his goodness, a witness to the fact that he can preserve, a witness to the truth that he restores, a witness to his faithfulness, a witness to anything. The remnants in Judah made the wise choice when they sought God's will concerning what to do about their location or relocating. And I'm glad that they chose to obey. And we see that in the coming years that God was able to restore Israel just as he will restore you. If there's anything I want to take out of today's conversation or, or teaching or preaching, whatever you want to have, it will be, please, double check with God. And whilst you're double checking, make up your mind to obey, even when it makes no sense. I'll see you tomorrow.